What's going on everyone? TJ Fitness Demons Reviews and together with me right here in the world's only FDA proof bunker GAT Sports Nitroflex Black Yeah, the all new Nitroflex Black coming in to the FDA proof bunker Listen people, I'm gonna take you through the label This is a very different label from the original By now, I, I have to say legendary status Nitroflex been around for 500 years Yes, yeah, since the Egyptians build the pyramids, they use Nitroflex as their pre-workout. Yeah, people, listen, I'm gonna take you through this label and then I used this already like four times. I bought this uh, two weeks ago. So I'm gonna share with you my personal experience and then towards the end of the video, as usual on this channel, by the way, I'm gonna give you my final verdict and tell you where it fits, if it fits in your steam chunky lifestyle. And all I'm gonna ask in return for this entire magnificent journey is that you hit that like button. Listen, people, GAT Sport. This is the first, first GAT product I'm reviewing here in the FDA-proof bunker. Most of the GAT stuff is not FDA-proof bunker worthy in the sense that they don't have any crazy stuff because it's, this is more of run-of-the-mill pre-workouts, right? Like you can buy them on Vitamin Shop, GNC, whatever. Anyway, they came out with Nitroflex Black, which obviously goes after Nitroflex, which has to be one of the best-selling historically pre-workouts out there. A lot of you guys, if you've been working out and using pre-workouts for more than a second, use Nitroflex, the original one, the white tub. I'm gonna put a picture here. This thing has been around forever and I actually really liked it. Like, I, I have to say, Nitroflex, I haven't used this in like ages. I reviewed it maybe four years ago, three years ago. I think I was asking, is it still Steam Junkie status? It was good, it's a good, they had alpha yod there, plus caffeine, plus a bunch of other stuff. Very small scoop size, so it wasn't, that didn't have a lot of uh, pump ingredients and juice. It was like just a pure steam package. Worked, listen, it hit nice. I mean, since then, you know, I, I've been burned by so many steam junkie pre-workouts. I don't know how it would feel today. But anyway, legendary status. This, this has been around, Nitroflex has been around for a billion years, really billion years. Anyway. They came out, just came out with this one, Nitroflex Black, and I saw them talking about this, so I went to their website and bought it. I think I bought one of the first tabs around. Yeah, Extreme Pre-Training Formula. I like the design, looks really nice. The Nitroflex original one, the white is like literally half the size, and I think that they came out with this black one, and a lot of you see that with a bunch of these, I wanna say run-of-the-mill brands, you know, like uh, everyday brands. They would come out with that, like a steam package uh, pre-workout, and they would come out with a full-blown, fully loaded pre-workout. Add like a serious pump formula, add like a serious endurance formula, maybe a bunch of other stuff, and then the steam package. And I think this is what they did with this one. Clinically validated ingredients, people. Anyway, looks nice. So, listen people, let me take you to this label, and I'll tell you the experience, because labels are just labels. Even if you believe that GAT Sport does put everything that they say they put here and its quality ingredients, you never know how it's gonna come together. So stay tuned. I'm gonna be fast around the what's in it. I'm just gonna give you the highlights because at the end of the day, first it's a proprietary blend and then second labels are just labels. Okay, one scoop, two scoops. Yeah, one scoop, two scoop. So listen. Okay, anyway, we're, we're the Two Scoops channel. People, if you're new to this channel, this is the Two Scoop channel. If you're looking for a review that's gonna tell you how one scoop felt, this is not for you. This is the full serve, full Two Scoop channel. So we went full serve here. Do not exceed more than two scoops per serving. Yeah. Training days, day one, begin by assessing your tolerance, then two and beyond, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, assessing my tolerance. No way. I assessed my tolerance every day. Okay, so l at 7 gram, already right out of the gate, very different from the original Nitroflex. Like I said, it was mostly a steam package. This starts with a pump ingredient, l an expensive pump ingredient, and 7 grams is a lot of l -citrine. Good start. Then they have this, what they call tri-nitrate uh, tonic at uh, 3 grams, which is basically a combination of beta-alanine nitrate. So beta-alanine nitrate, bethane nitrate, and what else? Arginine nitrate. I love nitrate. Listen, for pumps, I love nitrates. That's the most effective ingredient for me. Yeah, most in effective ingredient for me. And they have like this tree thing and they took the beta alanine, the beta alanine, which we usually like for tingling and added the nitrate. So it's gonna help with pumps. We like it, patented ingredient. You can't bullshit this stuff. If you're writing nitrate here, you are using nitrates. Okay, then they have, what is this thing? Cell volumizing and endurance uh, power house blend. I, I just hate this freaking blend shit. This is stupid. Anyway, it's a 
semi-proprietary, again, you don't know exactly what they have in it. And that's another beta-alanine, beta anhydrous, beta and uh, taurine at uh, 5.5 grams. So you don't know how much exactly of beta-alanine you get here. Let's assume you get 3.2 grams of beta-alanine for tingling. And then you get a bunch of other stuff. Betaine for, again, they, and they use them both in the nitrate form, bounded, bounded to nitrate, and then also in the original form. Generally speaking, people, you're supposed to expect pumps, and you're going to get them with the nitrates. No bullshit. In, in nitrates, like I said, labels are not just labels because you have to put it there. Otherwise, the people will sue your ass. Then they have the steam package blend. And again, it's a proprietary blend. They did put out the caffeine at 325 milligrams so you know how much caffeine you're getting, which is already natural caffeine, which is already out of the gate, again, better than Nitroflex, which had like this big ass proprietary blend. And then this uh, night uh, blend here, it's just a bunch of stuff at uh, 3.7 grams, and you get the tyrosine for focus, DMAE for focus, and you get a bunch of other stuff that you don't know exactly how much is in each and every one of them, but you have teobromine, you have L-theanine, more than alpha-GPC, because you know how th this goes, right? Ingredients are by order of quantity. So yeah, L-theanine in a pre-workout, fuck that shit. You need to have L-theanine in a sleep aid, not in a pre-workout. I don't like it, but listen, labels are still just labels. And it seems like they have tincomine, which is an ingredient I like for focus, and they remove the alpha yo. So the Nitroflex, the original one, had alpha yo, which added uh, sort of an umph to the pre-workout. They removed the alpha yo. So this is more of a fully loaded pump power steam package. Listen, the list of ingredients here is an interesting list of ingredients. You don't know how much you're getting, but it doesn't matter. I am way less offended by proprietary blends, just that we're out of the gate. The only thing I'm concerned about usually is that if you have like a bunch of alpha yo there and you're going to put like four milligrams of alpha yo and I don't know about it and, my, and I'm just going to hit my life. Otherwise, I don't give a shit because I don't believe your label anyway. This is the zero trust zone. I don't believe your label. And I, even if I believe your label, I don't know how it's going to come together. So I don't give a shit. I just don't give a shit, except Alpha Yo, <laughs> except Alpha Yo. Anyway, so I'm not offended by this proprietary blend. You know, you're gonna see some people say, oh my God, this is a proprietary blend, God damn it, people. I don't give a fuck, seriously. I don't believe your label anyway. Okay, let's get into the experience, people, because this is what matters. This is what matters. So like I said, I got this two weeks ago. Today, I used it for the fourth time. Let me give you my experience. This is what you came here for. Okay, people, let's start with the flavor. Uh, so this one is pineapple, orange, mango. I think that they have four or five flavors when I got this. I can't even remember. Listen, it's an okay flavor. You know, my skills for flavor is it totally sucks. It's chewing gum worthy, which means like you take it, just chew a gum and move on with your life. And it's good. This one definitely falls into good. And a scale of one to 10, fuck your scale of one to 10 for flavors. We don't give a shit about flavors. Again, as long as it doesn't totally suck, I don't give a shit. It's either chewing gum worthy or it's okay, this is okay. Listen, people, let's get into the experience. Okay, because this is what matters. Like you saw, there's nothing here out of the gate that is FDA-proof bunker worthy because there's no crazy stuff. But it's a, it's a solid formula. So these people, the people who put this together, sometimes you see these formulas when you say, man, you're just stupid. But this is, this is people who put this together, they, they're not stupid. It makes sense. Again, proprietary blend. Let's get into the experience, people. So like I said four times, let me give you this. Okay, right out of the gate, and I want to clear a couple of things. You're going to feel the beta alanine tingling and the energy. You're going to feel it. There's definitely something that feels like 225 milligrams of caffeine. There's definitely the beta alanine tingling. You're going to feel it. It's not crazy beta alanine tingling. It's the mild, I want to say, beta alanine tingling. I like between mild and crazy. I don't want to get itchy like niacin flushes. But I like the beta and tingling a bit stronger, but it's okay. Like if you're new to pre-workouts or you're buying this on Vitamin Shop, wherever you're buying this shit, you're gonna feel it, it's gonna be nice. The energy kick is also, it's it's not a, it's not super apparent. This is not one of these pre-workouts that's gonna fucking slap you in the face and get you out of like, uh, if you're totally tired, this is not wake you up from the dead energy. It's just nice, nice energy. Feels like 325 milligrams of caffeine. Bang energy drink, right? Beta and tingling, nice. The pumps on this are very apparent. Not, no surprise, you're using nitrates, seven grams of citrine, which I believe they have it here, something like that. You're gonna feel it. So the pumps are actually very solid, which is very different. If you're a Nitro, Nitroflex fan, but you, you miss the pumps, even though you can always add like a pump from like Bloodsport or FSU, I'm gonna link to these two reviews below. 
But anyway, if you want it all in one, then this definitely delivers. You don't need to add a pump formula to this one. The pumps are very solid. Again, nitrates work very well on me. They work very well on half of the planet or most of the planet, not half, 99% of the planet. So it's gonna work. As far as the energy kick and the mood elevation and the focus and all that stuff that we look as far as the extra, I didn't get a lot of the extras, to be honest. Like I didn't get, like I said, the energy kick is mild. Almost, I want to say, maybe the original Nitroflex hits a bit harder. Probably the, the Alpha Yo, right? So this hits this hits less hard than the Nitroflex, which in any case, Nitroflex itself is not a steam junky junky pre-workout, right? This does not, this is an everyday pre-workout. This is definitely an everyday energy. Hits less hard than the original Nitroflex. Pumps are much better than the original Nitroflex. As far as the extra stuff, like focus and mood elevation, it's okay. It's okay. It's nothing, it's nothing exciting, to be honest. Like, if you like the original Nitroflex, probably the energy kick on two scoops of the original Nitroflex is going to feel stronger. Definitely better pumps. Focus, ah, about the same, I want to... Like, this was not, this was nothing crazy for me. This is not... I'm not gonna write home about this. is not gonna get me into the gut, gut um, you know, like a f fan club. Now, if you're looking for an everyday pre-workout, now a lot of you guys watching this review probably saying, okay, damn it, I was looking for an everyday pre-workout that doesn't have any crazy like DMAA, DMHA, aryogenesis, all sorts of crazy shit that we review here on the channel, but you wanted to get that extra stuff, that mood elevation, get you in the zone and pops, dude, check out my review of Gaspari, super pump aggression i'm going to link to that one below this has it has a way way simpler label way less ingredients this is like a man this list is huge and that shit delivers delivers on pumps delivers on focus even mood elevation it doesn't even feel like an everyday pre workout it almost feel like a steam junkie shit that has like illicit exotic steams anyway so anyway my bottom line this is not bad it's nice if you're looking for a beginner i want to say almost like this is really a beginner pre-workout beginner pre-workout with solid pumps very good pumps beginner pre-workout with very good pumps you're gonna enjoy this if you're looking for the extra stuff but you still don't want to go into the dark side you don't want to go like dmaa dmha you want to get something that is totally okay right you don't need the fda proof bunker for it but feels like you need the fda proof bunker for it i would check super pump aggression by gaspar i'm going to link to that review below it's a better option for that, right? It, it definitely hits harder, better mood elevation. One of my favorite all around everyday pre-workout, probably in history, really nice uh, product. Anyway, this is okay. Again, if you got this and you're checking this review because you wanna say what others feel, it's a nice beginner everyday pre-workout from an energy perspective. You're not gonna get a lot of the extras, plus the extra is definitely gonna come on the pop. Listen, people, this is it. This is the zero oral activity channel. We do not suck any brand's dick here i don't give a fine fuck okay but like i said it's okay it's nice it looks nice also listen people i'm gonna link below to the super pump aggression review i'm gonna link below to where you can find this i think you can when i got this it was only available on the gat website maybe it's now available on amazon or something i'm gonna link below to that so you can get it um and that's it people listen if this review was helpful give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this because this is what we do here we help you make smart decisions about the supplements that you buy